Mira from Fit for Good with another online all seated session for you. The session today will benefit your whole body strength and mobility. We'll begin with a well rounded warm up with cardio elements for mobility and cardio endurance. The session will then progress into an interval strength training targeting your upper lower body and core strength at the end of the session you will stretch by performing a series of slow flexibility movements all you need is a sturdy chair a big bottle or glass of water hydrate to feel great and you need a pair of weights you decide how heavy or light they are. I'm using a pair of jars today. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's work together. Feet are flat and please always have your toes pointed forward or out, never in. Same with your knees, out or forward. And also you would like 90 degrees in your knees so that you have a nice, Parallel line running from your knee down to the floor. Your core is tight. What I mean by this is your belly, stomach muscles are tight. Your lower back is not under pressure. So you need to make sure that there is no unnecessary curve in or out there. So make it straight. This way you've got 90 degrees between your hip and back. And your chest is uplifted with shoulders rolled back. Your neck is neutral. From this position, we can start with neck rolls. Let's go for deep neck rolls. Forward, side, back, side. Forward, side, back, side. And change when you're ready. Perform just as many towards the other side. There is no rush. Three, two, one, relax. Now I'd like you to go for some really nice stretching arms up and down behind your back. Those are nice front raises and back raises, back kicks of your arms. You are warming up your shoulders. Doing this. So you kick them back and kick them up and overhead. Three, two, one. Now lateral raises, arms down to the side and then up to shoulder level or above. We can do this slowly and surely warming up every joint and major muscle group. Three, two, one, relax. And now I'd like you to go for some shoulder deep, big rolls backwards. Three, two, one, and reverse. Three, two, one. Well done. Shake. Now I'd like you to go for some trunk, trunk circles. So the, how we do this? You would like to lean forward to the side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. And now let's change. We are warming up lower back. It's fantastic warm-up exercise. Just make sure you don't fall off the chair if you have to for safety. Keep your arms to the side of the chair. Three, two, one, relax. Now, I'd like you to lift one knee at a time, as high up as possible, and try and do some chest press with your arms. So stretch your arms forward and back. Three, two, one, relax. Now I'd like you to start kicking your legs forward like so and keep your arms down to the side. Now you will kick your arms in the opposite position. Let's do it. 
breathe and kick both arms and legs in different directions. Three, two, one, relax. Now I'd like you to bring your arms in a cactus position so there is 90 degrees in your elbows and your palms are facing the screen and now you would like to do midline, join the elbows together and you open. So we do the so-called peg deck, I like to call it peekaboo and when you do this I really like you to squeeze as you open the chest, you squeeze the shoulder blades then try and bring those elbows as close as possible. When you feel ready add some hip opening at the same time so glide your toes down to the floor one leg at a time side and back to midline three two one relax shake and we'll finish off with some heel toe rocks when you do the heel toe rocks i'd like you to really think about going really up on your toes and really down on your heels so you've got great flexibility in your ankles when you feel comfortable with this movement you could add biceps curls here so curl and tap your shoulders if you can keeping your elbows stuck to the side of your body well done three two one and let's get into a march <sighs> you should be feeling nice and warm by now we have woken up major joints and muscle groups now let's get your heart rate slowly up march and increase the tempo of marching Come on, go faster now. And into a jog. 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 We can do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. And now I'd like you to jog as if you're stepping on hot pavement. Yes, in and out. You could do whatever you like with your arms as long as you swing them. Your feet are going mad. You can't stand that hot pavement, hot ground. Three, two, one. And we'll finish off with some mountain climbers. Let's go. Knee up and opposite arm up. <sighs> Breathe. This is your cardio element. It requires your lungs to work harder making your heart hard working harder <sighs> that's why your heart rate is going up and this is our aim now push yourself a little bit knee up a bit extra pace here go on three two one relax shake <sighs> exhale inhale exhale well done i will see you for the main part of this workout it's time for our interval strength training today that is targeting your upper and lower body strength as well as your core endurance there will be two rounds of six movements and the work to rest ratio is 30 30. so all in all we'll be working for only six minutes in each round what you need is a sturdy chair a bottle of water and weights grab yourself a pair of jars pair of rice packs, bottles, anything to give you that extra resistance or just count on your own body weight. Now, the six movements I will demonstrate right away for you. Please keep an eye and try and replicate some of them with me. So the first one is your side bend. 
you will be bending from side to side like so or for those of you who would like to really make it a bit more challenging go for one hand overhead one arm extension alternating every time you will side bend and you will really press down and try to reach the floor as much as you can you're working on your core strength and shoulder strength and mobility high five is number two movement it is for your core again this movement will require you to go into slightly wider position so you don't lose balance you will lean forward every time you try and give a high five to an imaginary friend as if that person is slightly further away and you're really trying to reach him on her. So every time you lean forward and turn to the knee towards that knee, you're trying to exhale and you're tightening your stomach muscles. Movement number three is a fun one. That is weighted jack. So you would like to grab your dumbbells, don't ditch them if you want to make it slightly highly intensive. So you will go for full jack extensions like so. This is great lateral raise for your shoulder strength and mobility. You can avoid the legs movement if that's too much to ask. Or you could go for one leg at a time. What we're doing here is you are not only challenging the muscles in your shoulders, and especially the cuff, um, especially the rotator cuff, but also by moving one leg at a time or two legs at the same time, your core will need to work harder to keep you in balance. So we are targeting strength in upper and middle body. And of course, if you go for two legs at the same, same time, this is working your quadriceps, inner and outer thighs as well. Next movement is your deadlift to front raise. So we are targeting lower back and arm strength. So what are we doing here? You would like to place your dumbbells down to the floor. That is going to be your starting position. You will exhale on the way down to pick it up. Inhale and front raise with really straight arms. Then you will lean forward up to knee level and raise your arms. The movement that you are doing here up to knee level is practicing your lower back strength. The movement of front raising the dumbbells, that means you are activating strength in your shoulders and forearms. So these are really nice compound movements. Movement number five and six are identical. We are repeating with right and then with the left leg. And you don't need dumbbells for this one because they're specifically targeting your leg strength and you will feel it you will feel a little burn here so starting with the right leg you will do can cans with right leg the music is in your head and you're doing I'm not a good singer, but you know what I'm about now. So every time to the beat, I'd like you to lift the knee up, down, and then kick forward and down, up, down, kick forward and down. And you will be doing this with the same leg for 30 seconds and then we'll swap. That's all it is. We can do it. Let's work together. I will very quickly start the timer. You get into the correct position. We're beginning with side bends. Grab those dumbbells and decide if you're going to go for TikToks or for one arm raise to that side. Three, two, one. Taking off. I'd like you to be able to hear your breathing. That would mean you are not holding your breath. 
Make it difficult. One arm overhead. Go as deep as you can. You can do it. Your neck follows. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Great exercise for your core muscles and strengthening your shoulders. So, well done. Next one is your high fives. I'm reminding you, take a nice wide stance and you will give imaginary five to someone who is seated in front to the side of you. Make it with dumbbells or without. You decide. Three, two, one. Lean forward and lean slightly towards that opposite knee. Stretch that arm, really trying to reach that imaginary friend. <sighs> Breathe. You're working on your lower back strength. Your stomach muscles are really nice and tight. Don't let that belly flop. <sighs> Breathe. Three seconds. Two, one. Relax. Great job, everyone. Next movement is coming in 30 seconds. We are doing jacks with dumbbells. So what I'd like you to do is open and close. Open and close. If this is too much, go for half movement or for movement with alternating legs. It's a nice lateral movement. Let's begin. Three, two, one. If it's really difficult for you to perform this 30 seconds exercise with weights, go with your own body weight, ditch the weights and just do it. Challenge yourself. Go with two legs at the same time opening. You are building now your core strength as well. <sighs> Breathe. Your stomach is hard rock. Three, two, one. Relax. Well done. Next movement is your deadlift. And I'd like you to place your dumbbells between your feet. Now, hip width distance apart is nice and wide. Get yourself ready to lean forward, grab them and front raise them back down. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath in. Lean forward, up to your knee, and now front raise. Down, up, front raise. Nice straight arms all that time. I'd like you to think about your back being straight and you're really breathing nice and controlled way. Three, two, one, relax. Great job. You've just worked on your lower back strength and your shoulder strength and a little bit of forearm there. We are moving on to our leg strength now. Can cans. Here we go. The music is in your head. We will be doing a repeaters with right leg first. Three, two, one. One, knee up, down, front kick, down. Knee up, down, front kick, down. Please try to make it a bit more difficult. Try without the touch down. Just knee up in the air and kick forward. Knee up in the air, kick forward. You are thinking about, yes, my back is straight and my muscles in the stomach area are tight. Three, two, one, relax. Great job. Same with left leg now, working on quadriceps strength. In about 20 seconds, you will be doing can-cans with just the left leg. Please feel free to grab hold of the side of the chair to make it, uh, to make you feel a little bit more balanced and always keep your back straight and core tight. Three, two, one. One, knee up, down, kick forward, knee up, down, kick forward, yes we can. Now make it a bit more difficult, don't tap down. In, 
out, in, out, in, out, knee up, and out. Few more seconds, come on, we can do it, five seconds. If you need to go back to the top, three, two, one. Great job everyone, we nailed it, round one is done. We are moving on to round two in about 30 seconds. If this time is not long enough, a break, feel free to pause the video, give yourself a few extra minutes and please come back to complete round two with me. Now I'll grab myself a quick sip of water and we'll move on. So, get yourself ready please for round two. We will begin with side bends. You now, you are now aware, you could do these exercises with or without the dumbbells, with hand overhead or just simple TikToks with really good press to the side. Your choice, your workout. You're tailoring these exercises to your own abilities. Whatever you decide to do, please be aware you're working towards your own benefit for core and full body strength. So it's a great gift you're giving to your body. So, three, two, one, side bends. You don't have to do it speedy manner. You can slow yourself down and really go for deep side TikToks. Really press that arm overhead if you've chosen to go for that option, which is the higher intensity one. You are, in any case, working on your oblique muscles. Three, two, one. Well done. Get yourself ready for high fives. We are working on lower back here, giving high five to an imaginary friend seated towards diagonally from us. In about 10 seconds, you will lean forward and to the side and you will really stretch these arms to full extension. I'd like you to go for full range of movement. Three, two, one. Let's do it. <sighs> Breathe. You have to hear your breathing. Go for a bit slower or faster pace. It does not matter. As long as you keep your back straight, your stomach muscles nice and tight, and you go for full range of extension of your arm. Three, two, one. Relax. Great job. Next one in 30 seconds is your jacks with full extension arm and hands, arm and legs, or one at a time. If your shoulder mobility won't allow you this movement laterally, go for half movement or go for shoulder press. Three, two, one. Weighted jacks. If you go for arms and legs at the same time, you're really activating your core muscles in your lower back, in your stomach. And even if you go for one at a time with your legs, you're still working on your legs mobility and shoulder strength. Three, two, one. Relax. Great job. Next one is your deadlift with a front raise. What we're doing here, we'll place the dumbbells between our legs, down on the floor. In about 15 seconds, I'd like you to take a deep breath in, <sighs> exhale, pick up those dumbbells to knee level and front raise and back down. Three, two, one. And front raise down between the knees and down to the floor. Maintain your back straight line. 
when you come back up breathe in lift and down lean up lift and down three two one relax great job you've just worked on your shoulder strength and lower back strength now it's time for legs can counts with right leg can counts with left leg you don't need any weights here scoot towards the end of the chair to make it really difficult to make it slightly easier towards the middle of the chair or end to make it really low impact three two one up down kick forward up down kick forward make it happen smile on your faces there we go we can do it to make it really difficult you don't need to tap up and stretch up and stretch up and stretch pump those quadriceps keep your back straight and stomach flat three two one relax we'll do exactly the same with the opposite leg you are feeling nice burn in your quadriceps which is great so get yourself ready breathe in and out <sighs> grab the side of the chair if you need that extra balance and safety and get yourself ready three two one can can with the left leg really knee up and then stretch kick forward up and kick knee up and kick keep your back straight breathe and to make it higher intensity now don't tap up and kick up and kick up and kick up you can do it three two one relax great job you really have to be proud of yourself you've completed two rounds of today's strength training let's complete the session with gentle stretching routine we will increase flexibility and relieve muscle tension starting by taking two deep breaths in and out press your palms together as you draw those palms down midline and again fill in your lungs and push those palms together breathe out shake now I'd like you to bring one arm out to the side across your body and as close as possible to your chest press if you have to with your opposite arm three two one relax opposite arm to the side across your chest press as close as possible to the chest oh that feels good and relax shake now one arm up and overhead and now flex so that you have a nice bend in your elbow with the opposite arm you would like to press this elbow to get into line with your ear and your palm is touching just here your shoulder blades and change one arm up and over bend the opposite is pressing it increasing flexibility range of movement and relieving tension in the shoulders and triceps and relax shake now give yourself a nice big hug and round your back chin is down your tailbone is between your legs three two one up now open up and try and grab hold of the back of the seat open that chest chin is up tailbone is up your chest is forward 
and relax. Now I'd like you to lean forward, put your palms on your knees to make sure that you don't lose balance. Lean forward slightly and gently and open up every vertebra at a time. Relax your neck. One deep breath in and out and come back up gently and slowly. Now I'd like you to lean to the side. If you have to keep hold, one palm onto the seat and one arm up and overhead. You're looking up, opening this chest area here. One or two deep breaths in and out. Come back to the middle, we swap sides. And relax into the middle, take a deep breath in here. Twist to the left, look over your left shoulder as you exhale, increasing flexibility in your spine. Then come back to the middle and same over right shoulder twist and back to the middle great job and now just few stretches for your legs the one that i really like for quadriceps you would like to go diagonally grab hold of your foot and that knee is pointing down towards the floor Make sure that this leg is there for stability. Grab hold of the chair so you don't lose balance and really press that foot close to your glutes. Hold it there for a couple of seconds and release. If you can't go that far, just make sure that you keep this position. Now change, go towards the other way. Grab hold of the other foot. Relax into this position for a couple of seconds few deep breaths in and out and relax and if you can knee up squeeze it as you as close as you come to your chest and now release down same with the opposite knee up release down shake cut and give yourself a nice big round of applause you have completed this lovely session for strength and mobility. I truly hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to share it, like it, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's always a pleasure to read your comments, so go ahead and leave those on our website or Facebook page. Stay safe and stay well. Looking forward to seeing you next time.